Hello everybody, my name is Rory Chowdhury and my day job is Solutions Marketing Director for Cloud at VMware EMEA. My evening job is to stay the heck out of my family's kitchen. They say I'm the worst cook in the house and that's only because the cat refuses to do her own cooking. I'm going to use a traditional hot pot to show you how we help customers adopt cloud. Bear with me. I've read the manual. I think it's officially called a recipe book uh, and I'm ready to go. So let's start with option one. I have bought all the various ingredients at my local supermarket. At home, I combine them according to a recipe. I provide the gas to cook on, got some potatoes boiling there, the electricity to light the kitchen and power the ovens, the cooking utensils, the pot, the plates, the drink to go with the meal, the table to eat on, all of it. Think of this as the equivalent to building an on-premises infrastructure. Buying the servers, adding the storage, connecting the network, installing the applications, cooling the building, and providing the staff who have the expertise to build, run, and maintain the apps. You're in complete control once you've got all the ingredients. Second option, I'm in a hurry. So instead of buying all the ingredients, I'm going to go to the supermarket or the local corner shop and I'm going to buy a ready meal. If I want, I can add various bits to it, pierce the film a bit, chuck it in the microwave and a few minutes later, it's ready to eat. Think of this as akin to buying larger blocks of infrastructure, for example, using hyperconverged infrastructure, where the initial hardware build is done for you and you plug it together on your premises. Third option, I'll phone one of our local restaurants or use an app to order a takeaway hot pot and whatever else we want that evening. We provide the location, the cutlery, the crockery, a drink, you're getting a theme here. Think of this as using a cloud provider to host your applications and services. You're still in control, but the bulk of the work is being done elsewhere. What you need is a good connection between you and the restaurant or you and the cloud. Fourth option, I'm going to go out to a restaurant where they will do all the work for me. All I need to do is order from a menu, eat and enjoy and pay at the end. It's probably going to cost me the most out of all the options, but someone else is doing the majority of the work. Think of this as the equivalent of using primarily software as a service applications and locating your own infrastructure in one or more public clouds, which more and more organizations are starting to do. Now, in reality, just like my family's eating habits, we mix all of these. Most days, we cook our meals from scratch. Sometimes we buy a ready meal, useful to stick in the microwave for when you only have a few minutes between meetings. Fairly familiar experience to most of us at the moment, I'm sure. Occasionally, we'll order a takeaway. And perhaps a couple of times a month, we'll eat out at a restaurant. Paying attention to lockdown rules, of course. Well, it's no different for the vast majority of organizations today. Around 60 to 70% of applications are hosted on-premises. We hope they're running on a VMware-based infrastructure, of course. And that number of applications that is run and supported is growing rapidly. An increasing percentage of the IT estate is moving to the cloud for various reasons. This is why we at VMware partner with over 4,000 public cloud providers. They build public cloud offerings using the same tools and ingredients as your organization uses on-premises to deliver consistent infrastructure and consistent operations. That means no silos, no retooling. Use your existing expertise and obtain the benefits of the cloud. So across all types of infrastructure and all types of cloud, from private to public, VMware helps you to build, run 
manage, connect and protect your applications. And to have the time to enjoy a healthy, warming, filling hot pot while you do so. Cheers! Mm -hmm.